this video I'm going to show you how to diagnose a two wire speed sensor that's used for most American cars, foreign cars, any car, as a matter of fact. Just as long as it has a two wire, you can use this to test it. Anyway, so um, the way you tell is look inside. You can actually see that there's two wires there. And um, that's what we're going to use to test it. Now we could use, um, it doesn't matter, polarity, plus, minus, either way. You can go either way with it, it doesn't really matter. Um, with this type of meter, you would have to set it um, a 2000 because 200 isn't quite enough. 200 ohms is not quite enough, so 2000 would suffice, would be actually perfect. But we're not going to use this meter. Um, the range, by the way, is between 190 and 250. That's what it's supposed to be. That's how many ohms it should be. This meter, this um, speed sensor right here is shot, and it's an open circuit, so it's not going to read anything at all. So this is the one that I'm going to be using, a Fluke. I got this for free, so I might as well use it. Also, it has that alligator clip, so it's a little bit easier. So what you do is, again, it doesn't matter whether it's plus, minus, there's only two wires. And make sure they're not touching each other. Well, then you would get full continuity. Anyway, so turn it on. And right there you see that it's an open circuit and it's measuring ohms, it knows about it because it's on automatic selection. This whole thing is just automatic, which is pretty cool. Anyway, so. That's the, uh, that's the way to do it. Hope this helps you. Have a nice day.